another film the following day what um i've got my noisy coat on again apologies oh i just rocked the car more than i intended to um this will be brief ladies and gents i'm here to talk about frozen 2 and i'm sad not because of the film but because of the film because i don't think it was very good the original, it's hard to imagine a time when we didn't all know it inside out and backwards and we didn't all, you know, sing, do you want to build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman through a letter, through a keyhole. and It's just, it's dominated the public consciousness in a way that not many things have in the last sort of 10 years. So I remember taking my daughter to see it, um, I think it was six years ago so she was just about to turn five and I went with my friend Rhea and Rhea's daughter Matilda and the girls sat there in the middle of us and we got them snacks and Eva hadn't had the best experience with cinema up to that point so I really had to persuade her to go and I remember watching it and I remember loving it and I remember crying my eyes out um, and knowing that I'd seen something genuinely special and even then I couldn't have, no one could have foreseen the sort of global impact. It's never really dropped out of, like I say, the public consciousness in the last six years. Um, there was a lovely little short called Frozen Fever um, released a couple of years ago, but they decided to go ahead and make a sequel. And all I can say is I really wish they hadn't. And this isn't just me being grumpy. It had the same creative team. It had the same directors. It had the same cast. Um, so Kristen Bell, Adina Menzel, Jonathan Groff, Josh Gad and all the central roles. Um, it had the same ingredients, but it didn't bake the same amazing cake. It's a weird analogy, wasn't it? Um, I really wanted to love it. Um, I, yeah, okay, I'm 38. It's not made for me, but neither was the first one. And I absolutely love that. The songs... <sighs> Maybe in time they'll grow on me, but I think most of them weren't very memorable. Um, I, th oh, I don't, I just, and I was cold. I mean, talk about, it wasn't a 4DX experience. I was just at the local audience, but it was bloody freezing. So I sat underneath my noisy coat while I was watching it. I went with my little sister. I say little sister, she's 35, she's not 10. Um, and I really wanted to enjoy it. And it was all right, but that was it um i'm glad i've seen it i'm glad my opinion on it is my own and not that i've picked up maybe if i was to watch it a few more times i would fall in love with it but as it stands now i can't really imagine wanting to watch it again anytime soon whereas with the first one i took eva and our friend poppy a few months later when they did a sing-along one um and yeah i just can't imagine feeling the same way about this one it it looks you know disney used to do quite a lot of straight to video sequels back in the day in fact toy story 2 was supposed to go straight to video and then they went hang on this is amazing let's put it in cinemas but this just really lacked magic um and i don't know i just felt I, it just felt unnecessary um i guess you could say the same you know toy story 4 did the need to make it and i said at the time when i reviewed it but it gave me more time with these characters that I love. And I love the characters in Frozen. I think they're great. Um, so on that note, you know, yeah, I got to spend more time with them. But, excuse me, not sure I'm all that bothered. The, the singing is beautiful because the three leads or four leads have phenomenal voices. Um... I'm annoyed almost that it did get me in the feels right towards the end and I got teary eyed because up to that point I'd been pretty stony about the whole thing and then right at the end I was like not at the end of the end but towards the end I was a bit like <laughs> but yeah overall not that bothered it'll make billions children will love it some grown-ups will love it and more power to them I really wanted to like it I just couldn't because it wasn't very good sorry sorry everybody especially Kristen Bell because I love you um but yeah not for me tempted to go back to the cinema tonight and watch Jumanji um the next level but that would be silly I'm gonna 
put my pyjamas on and go to bed instead because that's sensible. Um, thank you for listening. Again, I've picked up a few more subscribers. I'm at 81. Um, so yeah, thank you to everybody who watches me waffle nonsense in my car. Um, I really do appreciate it. I'm going to go in, get this uploaded, and um, yeah, I will be back soon. Might be a film review. Might be a life review. Who knows? I like to keep you guessing. Okay, thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.